crocheter wrote me and said, I'd like to learn the almond stitch. Can you please do a tutorial? So I'm like, okay, I don't know what that is. So bang it into Google. I'm like, oh, I've done that before. I actually made my own design. And this I called the sandbar pillow. And without further ado, I'm gonna show you how this stitch works. It's called the almond stitch. And uh, it's a really neat stitch, highly in texture. And I'll have lots of advice and I'll put you through to that tutorial right now, right after this. Hi, I'm Mikey from The Crochet Crowd and thank you so much for joining our channel today. I'm here to inspire you and create magic with your crochet hook. Are you ready to play? Oh yeah, that sounds good. Let's get right to the chase. If you're liking today's video, I would love it if you could click like. This helps me to know what to film next because if I'm seeing an influx of a type of pattern or a type of concept, it allows me to look into the future to see what else I can do for this particular topic. Let's cut the chatter, let's get at her, and let's start talking crochet, and let's begin to play. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> So let's begin with the slip knot. So you're gonna chain a total of 39. You can also do your multiples of eight plus seven, which I will do a smaller version of. So you're just gonna chain the number that you want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there's one multiple there. And I'm gonna do another one. So one, two, uh, two three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you can either chain to all the way to 39 and if you wanna do it the way I'm doing it then I once I'm happy with the length of it I can just add another seven to keep balance. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven only. So without further ado we're gonna then move on to row number one and start uh, working out this pattern together. To begin you're gonna go second chain from the hook and you're going to slip stitch the first five in a row. So I told you that the outside edges have an extra stitch. So on the, on the outside they'll always be in groups of five and anywhere else it's gonna be one. So you're just gonna slip stitch to the second chain over. So and you're gonna do that one plus four more. So just keep moving along. So this is two. This is three. four and five. Once you have the first five slip, slip stitches in I want you to half double crochet the next four only. So everything is now in groups of four until you get to the other side. So there's gonna be four half double crochets in a row. And then once those four are done you're gonna go back to slip stitching and that will be the next four in a row. So you're gonna do them in groups of fours going all the way into the end and please do that and I will see at the end of this chain where we'll just finish off and make sure you're doing it right. So doing four of either slip stitching or half double crochet all the way across. So once you get all the way across I'm doing the final five. So there's gonna be five stitches left or five chains left at the end and just to make a mental note is that the last five are the same stitch that you started with. So in order to keep this pattern consistent I had you chain in multiples of either eight plus seven or you could do the 39 and the ends will always look the same. So you will have slip stitching on the one side and slip on the other with the bulging in the middle. So what I want you to do is that we are going to then just if you wanna change color this is where you're gonna do it. If you wanna keep it all the same color you can if you want to. But if you wanna change color on the last one I just pulled out when I insert in I am going to just leave that gray aside and pull up my cream color to start the next one. So we're only doing the gray color just for the one row and then we start the other rows after that. So we're just gonna create a slip knot and pull it through and now for the next two rows it's only gonna be the cream and you're just gonna turn. So what we need to do then to create the ridge look we have to stay on the back loop only. So for the next four in a row is that we are just gonna go in the back loop. So just get the back loop. So if you go into both of the uh, strands that's a stitch. If you go into the first stand closest to you it is a front loop and the furthest one is a back loop. And you're just gonna do four half double crochets in the back loop only. This is what creates those ridges that you see. So with the chaining of two that you started with plus these four it gives you a total of five. Now for the next four in a row they're each slip stitching in the back loop. So everything now for the entire duration until we get to the border of your faces are always gonna be in the back loops. So there's gonna be four in a row. 
of slip stitching. And then you switch back then four in a row to half doubles and you keep doing that all the way across. So I told you before, see how the gray is smaller? So the very last part here when you get there will be um, the cream color but in the half double crochet format in order to stay in balance. And it's just a matter of just following the pattern. I'm not having to think about anything else other than that. So it's nothing special. It's just a matter of just keeping the counts of fours, fours, and fours. And then the last five are going to be the same stitch or whatever it's calling for. In this case it'll be half double crochet. So do that all the way across. I'll meet you at the end of the row in just a moment. So as we get to the other side there is five half double crochets to finish. Sometimes the fifth one is hard to see so just jam it in there. Just be consistent of where you're sticking your hook and then the world should be all good. Sometimes you gotta fake it. So I told you that things are working in sets of two, uh, two rows. So this is the first half of a, of a cream color. So when you turn you're going to create the same stitch work you just came out of. So you're just gonna chain two and stay on the back loop only starting in the next one and you are going to apply your half double crochets then for the next four. So one, two, three, and four. And then the next four in a row are each single crochets. Or sorry, slip stitching. I apologize for that. So it's just gonna be a slip stitch. So do you see that the cream color is the exact same stitches on top of each other of what they are and that creates the, the, the sandbar look of the, of the entire pillow. And if you turn it around see how it looks different on the one side versus the other. So the one side here do you see how it's kind of overlapping the gray? That means that this is the back of it and see how it's clean cut on this other side? That means that that's the front of the pillow. So just keep alternating between the groups of four. So it's either four slip stitch or four half double crochets. And then at the very end of the row we're going to switch back to gray. So you go, you just go down one, one way, come back with the same color and then just grab the other color and go down and back. And that's pretty much the duration of your entire pillow face. Now would I do a full afghan with this? I'm really not so sure. So watch the very end. So I have four done. See it's still missing one. It looks like it, it doesn't need to be in there but it does. And then what you have to do is your very last stitch because we're about to switch back to the gray is let the cream come, come down and just put the, the gray to finish that. And the gray should just be taut. So it should not be too, too tight. And then you're gonna start the gray. To start the gray immediately whenever you're doing gray you're just gonna um, slip stitch the first one. So slip and then do the next four of slip stitching keeping on the back loop only. So that was three, four and five. Okay because there's five in the beginning and then the next four in a row are each one half double crochet. Do you see what I'm see what I'm saying? If you're can you see how the pattern is going to work its way out? And then the next four are slip stitch. If I'm saying single crochet, I shouldn't be. It's slip stitching. I'm starting to doubt myself now. <laughs> and so you're looking at the good side of the project at the moment as you're doing it. So you can tell what side is the good side and what side's the bad side as you're working your way across. And then because it is the gray the last five stitches will each be on the slip stitch. And then when you it's easier when you get to the end especially if it's a slip stitch we're gonna start the next row. So just going into the back loop only before you turn it and then just pull through and through and that's your first one. So this will be number two, three, four and five and then switch to half double crochet. So see how it's half on uh, below? You wanna keep that being the same. See how the yarn is carrying up on the one side so it matches exactly what you see in the photograph. So the yarn will be carrying up on the one side and if you turn it over you'll see that the back side is not as pretty when you look at it from that perspective.